This is the fifth part of our Let's Play for the Forbidden Woods, and in this part, we're finally going to be uh, fighting the boss and rescuing, attempting to rescue yeah. our little uh, leaf friend who yeah. got lost in yeah. here. Which neither one of us going to try to say his name because we can't really <laughs> come to that conclusion on how it's pronounced. So. I honestly have no idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> but before we fight the boss, we do have to get to him, and I'll be honest, we do a little bit of backtracking here mm -hmm. in a moment. And I spent so much time <laughs> trying to figure out that we could backtrack. And once again, where we figure out different things, I just pretty much went right. right into it and just flew right up. I will say, once we get take care of these uh, uh, moblins, I believe they're called, mm -hmm. I spend a lot of time running from this room back to the room <laughs> with a treasure chart, trying to figure out where to, like, expecting another door. I'm never going to that room with a treasure chart. Because I would probably rule we play this game somewhere down the road. Oh, of course. Of never course. going back to that room. <laughs> never. <laughs> but I probably spent a good hour running between these two rooms trying to find mm -hmm. another path to take. Totally forgetting that if you think back to one of our previous parts, that big giant flower we rode all the way down, mm -hmm. we can ride right back yeah, up. Yeah, right here. back up. Because uh, I hit that fan. Yep. Not accidentally, but I was kind of wondering what it would do. Yeah. And I kind of saw the air, so it kind of gave it away to me what to do right yeah. there, I guess. And I will say, I don't want to take credit away from you. You had a great boomerang throw there a second ago. Oh, I missed it, dang it! You did. I really wanted to bring that up, too. Gosh but darn it. Even without locking on don't the Don't distract me from now on. You I was both of them. It was a great throw. Man. Everybody go back and rewind that part and watch it again. Man, I totally wanted to say something and, and about you, that. You'll see it. You'll see it when it happens. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it was a heck of a boomerang throw. I kind of got stuck right here because, um, obviously, like, a lot of times we enter, like, this is not really a mini boss room. Yeah. But the room we, or the door we enter through is usually the way we go out. Exactly. And I tried numerous times. Well, <laughs> I was mad at these brute Mines, things. Roots, not roots, yeah. yeah, I guess it'd be called roots. I was mad at these things since that <laughs> maze. And I just, I kept trying to get back at them throughout the rest of this dungeon and uh. just... Yeah, this is one of those rare places, though, where, like, the door in never opens back up for you. Yeah, uh-huh. You gotta go up top, actually. Yeah, which is, isn't is difficult, per se, but, yeah, it's it, you kind of forget. You know, we've had to use the... Uh, we talk about this a lot, where you don't always use the Man, item. You really did hate those Oh, ones. yeah, dude. I took out a lot of frustration on those things. <laughs> I didn't know if I was really trying that, like, as a puzzle solver. <laughs> I think I might have just been doing that on purpose just to get my revenge. Probably. And probably. Hey, when you have that thing, why not swing it a couple times? I know. You want to kill something with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be able to take it through doors, really, is what I think. Oh, I know. That frustrated me that you couldn't. But what I was going to say, um, yeah, sorry we talked a lot about uh, you know not using the previous dungeon items that much. Yeah. So this, uh, in this dungeon, we've used a lot of the grappling hook throughout. We have. This is a, the third or fourth time we've mm -hmm. had to get it out, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. So and it's never like for huge, long chunks or anything, but it's just... Uh, Man, little, we little. apparently forgot how to use it, too. <laughs> <laughs> God, shit. Well, you were standing right under yeah. that thing. You it doesn't work my... if you're standing right under yeah. that. You weren't going to get much of a swing <laughs> to that position anyway. <laughs> I was definitely flying off that thing. Yeah, yeah. But we got through. Mm -hmm. We got through. And now this is, like I mentioned a minute ago, this is the part that really... Well, the video wouldn't be online if we didn't make it through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, look, look for our, uh, another video of ours somewhere that has the correct way to go through this. But no, this is the part where, like I said, I just ran around this little circle countless times. Yeah, because you know how to get... You know, you, you probably knew that you had to go back up, didn't you? No! Oh. I was clueless. Oh, okay. Totally clueless. I was like, I'm missing a door somewhere. Oh, I know what it was, and I'll point this out later on. Yeah. Um, when I was um, struggling with the vine room for yeah. callous <laughs> hours, I actually um, went down to the bottom and broke that door oh. to get to the boss. So yeah. I knew where the boss room was That's before true. that time. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think just to walk right back here. And as you see, the little windmill right there that's going to take us all the way back to mm -hmm. the top. Like I said, uh, in a previous walkthrough, oh, I said where I hit it, and yeah. I saw the air, and so I kind of knew that it yeah. would take me back up. Now, I still didn't know how to use it right here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. Well, you got to jump like into it. Like yeah. I don't think... Well, you got to jump off a ledge to use the leaf to exactly. float, so... Which why you can't just pull the leaf out right Yeah, there, I right? really thought you could. I think that's what I was trying right there. Yeah, instead you kept just swinging the, yeah. the puffs mm -hmm. of air. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. But, you know, it works. We eventually get to the top. <laughs> I was no longer getting annoyed by this dungeon because... We've gone through It was kind of one of those things where I'm just like, you know what, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over yeah. it. We had gone through a lot by this point in this dungeon. <laughs> well, me and Ray were talking like um, in between commentaries for this. Like we both probably thought this was not. I want to say the hardest dungeon, but just it confused us both the yeah. most in the entire game. And I think we said that in an earlier walkthrough, we, didn't we? We did. We did. It's one of the 
It, it, the sad thing is the puzzles that confuse us. Once you figured out how you do it, you felt stupid. Well, that's every Zelda puzzle that we <laughs> better have a problem with. So, and that's the door I was talking about earlier. There's actually like a well, it's two flower locks on there. Yeah, yeah. But I already done it earlier. And also, <laughs> I got that treasure chest earlier, but we had to cut it out because that vine room just won. It was part it of beat a, me. It was it beat part me. of a long sequence yeah, so it beat me. of mistakes, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'll, all it had was rupees or a joy pin in it or something. Joy pin, it had joy pin in it. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's not like you're missing much. So if you're wondering why there's a randomly open chest, <laughs> it's because I went down there and I just said, ah, I'm not even yeah. going to include it. The, the real hero, hero of Hyrule already came through and Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ocarina Time Link got that already. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I like this room too, is a great mm -hmm. approach to the boss key. You see these seeds in here in this like, dark room. It's just a nice little touch. Well, was it you or like, I thought you had to do something with those for some reason, like. I think this is the one time I didn't. Because I've been in this room earlier. <laughs> in, in every other room, I'm pretty sure I've tried to do something. You know, the seeds, and you finally given up by that time. You're like, nope. At that point, nope. I wasn't doing it. You're not fooling me this time. No. And here's our little leaf friend, who mm -hmm. it's uh, you know nice to finally see again, I guess. Mm -hmm. But this boss does have our number. Yeah, and I love the facial expressions right there that Link gives out. Oh, no doubt. And I I think this is one of the most visually impressive. I mean, we've said about the whole dungeon mm -hmm. as a whole. This boss, just the colors, the lights, is just a gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous boss. Mm -hmm. It really, it really is. It's kind of got that neon leaf at the bottom of it yeah. that really just. And you'll see, like, because like the inside, when the inside blows oh. out, it's like kind of all neon colors. Yes, yeah, it really is probably the most beautiful boss in this game. It's very bright for a, a very painful boss. <laughs> yeah, uh huh, uh huh. I I struggle with this boss fight for a long time. Yeah, I do too. And the problem that we were talking about is like, well, first of all, it's this. It's hard to you know get all these together I guess it is. and knock them all down but then when you finally do knock them down I mean you gotta really react quick and it's yeah. easy to kind of miss it because you're just kind of like in a little middle uh, ball yeah, in the yeah, middle yeah, of yeah. a Venus fly yeah. trap I guess yeah but yeah you have a small window of, of time with, with and a small target to hit mm -hmm. once you finally cut all those uh, I guess Things hang hold them from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what you yeah. call those. Because I'm not even sure if you really got one hit in we've there. We've been calling everything vines. Yeah. In this dungeon, the, the water work. vines by now. <laughs> <laughs> they work. They work. But it's annoying because every time he regrows all of those things. Yeah. And there's like, what? There's 15 or 20 of them up there. I know you mentioned this, like those uh, leg things or whatever. Oh. I mean, they get me. Dang, that's a whip. Yeah. Like, those things get me numerous times. Those get me, and the ones he eventually come spurting out of the ground in mm -hmm. like small pockets. Yeah. They only cover a small area, but I swear somehow I was always in that area. Those little ones right there. Oh yeah. We always seem to find trouble, it seems I like. I know, I know. It's just a, a like we said, it's a very short amount of time you have to get in here and hit him mm -hmm. and and he closes very quickly. Yeah, and like that bouncing around kinda of causes issues. Because yep. I know a couple times. I try to jump attack him. And you're my problem with jump attacking is I never had my sword equipped. I just roll past him. <laughs> I do that yep. numerous times in all my Zelda games. I, I think we saw the first time we knocked him down. You did exactly yeah, that. Yeah, I right yeah. past him. But yeah, if you can get like a jump attack on him, yeah. it obviously goes a lot quicker. And you will see us stopping to grab hearts on several occasions. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, as with most of the boss fights, there are enough items around the room mm -hmm. to refill your hearts. I don't think I died in any of the boss fights yeah. in this game. I don't think I did either. But I'm not sure if I died. Period. I think I died like once or twice in this game. There's definitely a few times I had to stop for hearts in this <laughs> boss fight. And I'm just looking at our video. This ends up being like a seven or eight minute boss. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just like it's very tedious. Like yeah. getting all those like you know you know you can lock on to five of them. It just takes a really yeah. really long time to do. Plus, if you take too long, they regrow. Yeah, and then you gotta walk all the way around in circles. Yeah. And these whips will block block your boomerang. It's too. beautiful, but it's annoying. It really is. It really. That is. sounds like a lot. <laughs> so anyways <laughs> uh, let's not bring back memories of blind the thief here okay so but uh yeah that's the problem though they do regrow on you and we have to run all the way around them again mm -hmm. it's uh it's just a pain mm -hmm. and he does do some damage but yeah it's like I said not hard and there's enough parts around and everything exactly and he is, it is kind of fun she fu she fools you with her beauty yeah I will say it is gorgeous when it falls and opens yeah, up like yeah yeah get that like yeah it's not neat. It's kind of neon, it's I guess. It's just that bright yeah, color, neon. yeah. It's it's just, just, that also happened to me plenty of times. Every time, I think. Yeah. Until you finally kill him. Well, it's not every time. <laughs> it's just a couple times. Yeah. It might be every time. <laughs> is, is this gonna be he might. <laughs> I don't think it happened. I thought one time I got away. We'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. Have I not gotten away yet? Not yet. <laughs> Man, has he really? Well, that's the problem, though. It's like you get in there. You know, he gets two hits before he does it. Yeah. 
Well, our problem is we're going to try to get as many as we can. Oh, yeah. We'll sacrifice oh, we'll a heart. We'll take a half a heart. You yeah, know? Well, I want to get that extra swing in right yeah. here. It's going to hurt him a lot more than it hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is very true. That's very true. That's a sacrifice we're willing to make. <laughs> but we definitely kind of get better at least getting the tentacles here, it feels mm -hmm. like. We certainly don't get better at actually hitting the guy, as you're going to see here, either on mm -hmm. this one or the next one. That one of my... Yep, uh, there it is. Yep. yep. Uh, you know, the idea was there, just yep. missed. And ideally, the jump attacks do do, what, twice the damage? Yeah, they do. You just got to have that, like, proper distance, yeah. you know, from them. And, and we didn't have it there. I either tried to do a jump attack right beside the enemy, which makes no sense <laughs> whatsoever. The idea behind the jump attack is a great idea, though. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, get as much damage as you can in the short window you have. On these smaller targets, it is a little tougher. It works a lot better when there's not something closing up around you. <laughs> that, that it does. This whole boss fight would work a lot better. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. You. If this stupid flower would just be open the whole time, we wouldn't have this problem. And I think what really killed me in this boss fight is I kept forgetting to move once I had my boomerang out. Like, I would whip out my boomerang and start locking on stand And just stand and there? And just stand there. Yeah. And that's when those... Uh, Tentacles or vines that come out of the ground yeah. and get you really get you good is when mm -hmm. you're just standing still. Yeah. And unfortunately, I did that way did, too often. I did keep moving throughout this boss. Oof. That looks painful. If you give me a, a weapon that can move with, <laughs> I'm going to use it to my advantage. And strafing. Always strafing. Yeah. Like that. I, I did not. I kept like just zooming in and just. Are those hearts replenishing? Because we've used a lot of hearts in this dungeon. I'm not sure. It is a really big room. Uh -huh. That's a good question. That is though. true. That is true. Man, this one is. <laughs> it did take us a while yeah. to get this one. I do think this is our just about our last last go around here. Mm -hmm. I know we had those two misses in a row. As you see right there, like I was locked on all five of them, and now I only hit two of them just because yeah. of the way the boomerang flew. So. Yeah, and that's kind of a good idea to remember. If you target right to left like that, I feel like you have more of a tendency to miss some. I've seen that happen a couple times. Like, mm -hmm. if the first one you target's on the right. Because the boomerang's kind of going backwards because the link's left-handed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just a little a little hint there. Yeah. I do think we finally... Oh, thank God. Finally got him on that one. That was I was a getting tired talking about that, boss. Oh. Like you said, <laughs> beautiful but deadly. How's the thing that wimpy looking? I don't know. It, it caused so much problems. <laughs> it's a flower! Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I want to say again, blind run. First time I'd ever faced that boss. Yep. But we killed that darn thing. We ripped that, out like a weed. Yeah, and I kind of love the whole cinematic right there. Just like, you know, this whole process being over Me too. or whatever. Me too. Plus the way it like, kind of like has that last... Oh, yeah, uh-huh. It's dead. But we finally saved our little yep. uh, leaf friend. Yeah. And I think we got to take him back out to uh, the Great Nuku Tree, don't we? Yes, we do. Because there's like some festival or something. Or is yep. There, yep, there's some some annual festival. Some, yeah, so, oh, that's right, because he plays the violin. That's, that's yes, right. Yes, he does. So we're uh, now that we've finally gotten him beat, we're going to head mm -hmm. back out to the Great Nuku Tree. Yeah. Attend yep. that festival. Yeah. But what I love, like, one thing in this game is, like, the little wind that's kind of circling around right there. Yeah. I just absolutely love that in this game. Plus, it's just, like, it fits the, th the theme. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does. It does really fit the theme, but... uh that'll wrap up uh, our let's play for the forbidden woods